Hello and thanks for joining me on this wonderful edition. Today I will bring you something very important. You know I'm the bearer of good news, so today I've come with some good news. But before I go, I want to say a very big thank you to everybody who has been joining me, helping me grow this channel. I want to say a very big thank you. God bless you. For my returning subscribers and my new subscribers, please click on the notification button and always remember to give us a thumb up because that helps us to grow this page. So today I'll be telling you about something. If you're a nurse and you are planning to go to the U.S., what if I tell you you can travel to the U.S. even without passing your ankles or before passing your ankles? And also, what if I tell you that you can also travel even before passing your IELTS? I know it sounds very, very outrageous, but I've come with good news like I've always done. And don't go anywhere. When I come, I'm going to tell you how you can travel to the U.S. as a nurse without passing this all-important ankles examination and having your IELTS in check. I'll be right back. All right, so it's no longer news that before you practice in any country as a professional, especially nurses, you have to get certain qualifications or certifications before you're able to practice in those countries. And the United States of America is one of the hotbed for, for nurses, not only Nigerian nurses, but nurses are, are around the globe travel to the United States of America to make cool money. And you are faced with the um, hurdle of passing the IELTS and passing the NCLEs, and that has deterred so many people. But today I've come with some good news and I've come with some um, enlightened um, information that will help you plan and travel to the United States of America without passing your NCLEs or the IELTS and practice as a nurse. Um, like I said, please give us a thumb up because that helps us to um, grow the speed and also share so that many people would also enjoy what you're enjoying. Now, there are so many companies employing nurses from out from the United States of America and bringing them to work in this all beautiful country uh, this great powerful country and nurses have been paid well as we have in this country all right so um, in this video like I said I'll be telling you more information on how you can travel as a nurse to work without even before you pass your IELTS and um, all right, so for you to practice in the United States of America, you must pass your NCLEs and be registered as a nurse in one of the 56 states of, um, the, of the U.S. And some of these states don't require the IELTS. Why do some of the states require that you must pass the IELTS and your NCLEs and all, or the CGFNS and the NCLEs? All right, so you need to get that information clearly because you cannot just travel to the United States without having some of these things. But there are some agencies or there are some recruiters who are now willing to take nurses from Africa, Asia, um, wherever you are, to the United States of America if you have not passed your NCLEs or the IELTS. But there are some conditions you have to meet before you'll be able to qualify for this program. Now, what I'm telling you is not um, something you cannot Google. You can Google online and see for yourself. And I'm going to also, like I do in most of my videos, see if I can get some links for you to also go to but if you stay at the end of this video I'm going to be mentioning the name of the organization so that you can know uh, these things for yourself all right so there are some things like I said some criteria you have to meet for you to be qualified or for you to be able to meet their demands for them to take you or pick you for this um, program before I come on air to say these things I have uh, one or two persons who have messaged me that this is how they traveled and that is why I have the confidence to speak to you based on this information, right? Now, so, first of all, one of the things you need is a very good CV. Now, you need a CV that would detail all your work experience, years of, or years of work experience, qualifications, and um, uh, certificates you've, um, you've acquired and skills you have well detailed in this CV. This is something you have to do very well. If you don't have a professional CV, please look for someone to make a very good CV for you. Unfortunately, different countries have different ways of doing their CV. If you're going to the UK, they have different ways they want your CV to look. If you're going to Canada, they have different ways they want your CV. They have the CV to look. If you're going to the US also, I think Canada and US have the same pattern, but some sometimes they might have different patterns. So you have to find out and make a very good CV. Number two, Make sure all your credentials are up to date, especially your license in your practice in your state in your country. Make sure your li your license is currently up to date because you cannot practice in another man's country with the license if your license in your own country is not up to date. So there is no need, nobody's going to take you because you need at some point there's going to be a need for verification in your own nursing council, right? 
Also, you must be in good standing with your own nursing council, wherever country you're from, you must be in good standing. Then, another thing that is very important is the fact that you must have started the endless RN process. It is very, very important. Before, it is one very vital um, criteria they, that they look at. You must have gone far. You must have started your application to register as, a, as an RN in the U.S., one of the states in the U.S., be it Texas, be it Michigan, whatever state you choose, you must have started that process. In fact, if you are at the process of um, going to the U.S. for for um, the exam, or you want to go to Mexico, you want to go to the Philippines, or you want to go to South Africa, this is an opportunity. These are the kind of people they are looking for to help to come to that country. So you must have started this process. Now, the fact that I said that you'll be going to the U.S. doesn't mean that um, there's a shortcut. No, you must go through all the process. But the fact that if you have started your endless process, then it will be easier for you to be picked for this program. Now, the type of job you'll be going there, the type of job you're going to do over there, it's very important that you know that when you, when you are being selected or employed, you are likely to work as a nursing aide or, or nursing assistant or a technician, just something that you will do for the time being while you prepare for your endless. Now, like I said, if you want to join this program, it is very important that you have started your endless program so that when you get to the US, while you're doing this job as a nursing aide uh, or a nursing assistant, you have a little period to prepare little time to get your RN so that you can might you can transit from that scada to the RN scada. Now the pay is very good from what I have seen online some of these um, organizations pay like 20 um 10 20 dollar 20 point something dollars an hour 20 points uh, 15 dollars per hour depending on your location so the pay is very good and the persons like I said also say you are able to survive on that pay and guess what this job can lead to you getting a green card in the u.s which will enable you to bring your family or your loved ones to come and join you in the u.s now i know you'll be itching to know the company i'm talking about now i have two companies that i have seen online or three that i have seen online that can take you to the u.s for you to be able to work even though you don't have your um u.s endless or you don't you've not passed it now the first company is worldwide health staff now this worldwide health staff help nurses who have gone shown interest in this u.s rm process and have started or commenced it and are in ns uh, preparation they will help you to come to the u.s and for you to write your endless in the u.s or you work as a nurse assistant then you go and write your endless and if you are scared of writing the ILTS, when you are working as a as a, as a nursing assistant, you can by call because there are some states that also like uh, there are some states that you don't need to write ILTS for you to register as a nurse in the US. You can check it out. That's fact. All right. So that is that is number one. The MedPro staff. I'm going to put in the link in the description so that you know very very well. Then number two, number two is the uh, MedPro. Sorry, MedPro is the number two agency. That will take you if you meet their criteria make sure you have a good cv make sure you're uh, you have a good um, work history and also apply make sure that you've commenced the endless rm process then they will help you when you're speaking to any of their agents they are going to do what help you make sure you mention to them that you have commenced your endless rm process and you will be um surprised that you might be selected for this program and um you see yourself going for your visa and other things now the fact that you have commenced or you apply doesn't mean that you must be selected because there are thousands of people who are applying worldwide not just nigerians ghana there are many people are applying so if you are not selected then you can continue your own program by yourself or your own process by yourself but most nurses or some nurses have been fortunate and they are giving the testimonies all right so another thing i have to say in this video before i go is that you should also watch out for fraud stars because there are people who come in the name of um helping you and they defraud you so 
before you deal with anybody make sure you check them out i have mentioned two companies and i'm going to put their link so that you don't fall into the hands of the wrong persons to meet again as you may not know so if you find this video uh, useful please give it a thumb up and also share with your friends and loved ones please stay safe